What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In the last video I showed you how to initialize the React app and get everything ready to start coding. Um, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up your router and so you can have different pages on your website and get ready to actually uh, start designing and everything. So first off we need to go up here to the terminal and we need to install React Router DOM. As you can see it's just npm install react-router-dom so we're going to install that install is pretty fast now it's done so we can just close the terminal for now and we're going to go over here to our source file we're going to create a new folder and call it pages and then we can also make another folder called components and the difference between components and pages is quite small they're both technically components um, you're going to have components in the page in the pages folder as well as components in the components folder obviously um, the difference between them is the pages will be a component that contain other components and build up an entire page now components folder is going to be individual components so um, they make up like a small piece of the of the pages so let's pretend uh, or let's say a header for example a page header or you know a drop down menu those are examples of components um, so those would be in the components folder and when you're talking about like the home page or you know a contact page all together um, that would be a page so we're going to create three different pages here a home.js and a about.js and a contact.js all right so now we have those pages and we want to make one component just to show you an example of how you would use this so header.js now in the header.js we're just gonna make very simple um, not even really a header but you get the point um, function header and then we're just gonna return a h1 header react router tutorial all right so that's all the header is it just says header react tutorial um, obviously you could have a lot more advanced um, HTML in here that actually is styled and looks like a header but we're not gonna do that because this isn't a CSS course this is a react course now let's go to the pages um, we're gonna want to import that header to put it into the pages so import header from dot slash components header it's actually not dot slash it's dot dot slash because it's out of the same it's out of the folder it's one directory back that's what the dot dots mean a single dot means it's in the same folder so if you didn't know that now you know now we'll copy that we'll paste it to all the pages and we will go down here and make a component we'll just return and then we're going to wrap this in a fractal you could do a div or anything else as well um, I'm just gonna do a fractal just cuz now we're gonna put the header here and then we're gonna put um, h2 home page and now we can just copy this and we can go down here um, and change the names here so this is contact we'll leave header oh I didn't even put I didn't even put a name here function uh, contact There we go. Okay, so now we can go over here and change this one. About contact and home. So that's all we need to do for the pages. Um, you could do, again, you could do a lot more advanced stuff there and make it actually look good, but we don't need to make it look good for this video. 
I'm just showing you how to get it done. And you can worry about the HTML and CSS yourself because that's really all that you don't learn from this, um, from me not styling it. So now we're going to open the development server. So to do that, you just open a new terminal and type npm start. Make sure you're in the right directory. Sometimes it'll give you an error. It's usually because you're in this first folder or something and you're not actually on the React folder that it created. All right. So now you can see over here it's loading up and now it's blank because there's nothing shown. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the app and we're going to import our router. So we already installed the router DOM, so we can just import it. So we're going to import browser, router, and then comma, routes, oops, and then route from React Router DOM. So now we've imported those and we can use them in our code. But we also need to import these pages because we want to use those with the router. So in combination. Um, I don't know what whoops 404 is, doesn't actually exist, so does events, but there we go, it's actually dot dot slash pages, actually no it's not, huh, I don't know, Copilot thought that would work. I didn't think it would. So I guess I was smarter than Copilot there. I knew you had to do this. Um, import about from dot slash pages about. So it's just like components. Pages are the exact same thing as components, as I'm sure you could probably tell. So import contact from dot slash pages slash contact. And now that's all we need to import. We can go start our routes. So to start off with, we're going to make a browser router and nest everything within this. Um, see what it's saying now, routes. And for some reason, we have to nest it in both of these, um, both of these components. I'm not really sure why, so don't ask me, but that's how it works. Um, if you just do routes or browser router, it's not going to work. So now we're going to create a route component, and we're going to make this one index. So by putting index here, what that means is it's the default page that you're going to load up to no matter um, you know, if you don't have a URL path. Um, you're just automatically going to be on that page. So this is usually what you want to use for your home page. And then we're going to type element is equal to home. You have to use the brackets there because you're putting a component. And then we got to close this tag. Don't forget to do that. That'll give us an error. And so as you can see over here, since we are, since we have no path, it is showing us home. But now the problem is if we type slash home up here, it's going to show us nothing because we don't have that path defined. All we have is index, which means no path. So generally for home, you want to have slash home as a path too, just because it's just a little, um, a little nicer to have that as an actual path as well. So now you can do path slash home element home. So path is obviously what path you're going to. And index just means that there doesn't have to be a path, like there is none. So now if we go over here and type slash home, it will be slash home. So, sorry, I think I was on the other screen. I can't tell because I don't have a third monitor, but um, if you can see me type this, that's what I typed. Um, yeah. Anyway. So now let's make the rest of the routes with just the paths. So slash about, element about, and then route path, contact. You have to make sure to do slash contact, and then element contact. And you can also make like a 404 page for that 
can make a new file um, error 404 or you could most people call it no page .js and then I'll just copy this no not this there we go error error 404 not found all right so now we can go over here and we can import no page from slash pages slash no page um, and now in order to make this no page uh, page show up um, if the page doesn't exist it's pretty simple uh, at, it's actually showing you right there route path equals star element no page and what the star means is anything else other than these so really the star means all um, just like in SQL um, if you put a star that means all of something so by putting this no page last it is effectively the last one to be seen so it means if any path then go to no page but all of these are going to be activated sooner um, which means that you know if you have slash about then you're actually going to be seeing the page so you always want no page to be the last one otherwise pretty sure if you have it up here um, actually I was wrong I guess I guess it works either way. Um, you never know with JavaScript. I'm still learning myself, so here we are. Anyway, um, but that is how that works, though, with the all. Um, it's just anything other than what is already defined. Um, so, yeah. I think that's a specific component thing is how that works with route. So, I don't know a lot about the ins in outs of the actual router components. All I know is how they work. So anyway, that's pretty much all you need to know. I mean, you can go to slash home, you can go to nothing, that both shows you the home, and then you can go to slash contact, and that will bring up the contact page. You could have as much advanced uh, styling and different components in this as you want. You could have, you know, you can make it look exactly like YouTube and just have different pages for profile pages and whatever. You can make it very complex, and that's why React is very good for this. Because as you can see, I just made a bunch of different pages with routing and everything um, very fast, honestly. I mean, 10 minutes or so. Um, and if you type about, it'll be about. So that's how simple it is, guys. Really simple. This is why people like React. It's not as hard as JavaScript, although it seems even harder when you're used to JavaScript. You're like, oh, I, I don't know about React, you know. It seems pretty complicated with how it works. Um, and it can be when you aren't used to it, but you'll get used to it in a couple weeks probably, and you'll never go back. You'll just love it. Um, I still code in regular JavaScript, of course, um, but that's mainly just for fun and to keep my, uh, my vanilla JavaScript skills intact because when you're using React, it's just, it's so much easier than JavaScript that you'll, you'll kind of forget how to do stuff in regular JavaScript. So it's almost it's almost bad in that way. <laughs> it's almost bad that it's so good. But anyway, if this video helped you guys out, definitely smash the subscribe button, uh, like the video, and stay tuned for some more videos in the future. I'm going to be doing a whole React series about uh, building a chat web app, so like a chat room or something like that, where you could talk to other people and make accounts. And yeah, we'll be using Firebase for the back end of that. And yeah, I'm um, looking forward to seeing you guys in the future. Definitely making a lot more tutorial videos and I will see you guys later. Peace.